What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to do a tether jailbreak on Apple's new iOS 5.0.1 that they just released yesterday. Now the device that's compatible with this jailbreak is the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 3rd gen, the iPod Touch 4th gen, and the original iPad. Now before we get started, I just want to show you that I am on iOS 5.0.1. So I'm just going to go onto my iPod Touch 4th gen, which I will be using to jailbreak. Go on to settings, general, about 5.0.1. Alright, so you're going to need three things to jailbreak your iDevice. And that is Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 8 for Windows or Mac, iOS 5.0 and iOS 5.0.1. Now the reason you're going to need iOS 5.0 is because during the jailbreak process you're going to have to point Red Snow to the iOS 5.0 file. And all the links for everything will be in the description below which are the downloads. So the first thing you want to do is open up Red Snow. It will be in a zip file just to let you know. So once you've opened up Red Snow, what you first want to do is click Extras. And right here you want to click Select IPSW. And this is where you're going to be pointing Red Snow to iOS 5.0. So mine is here. And I'm just going to point it. Now it's going to say this as identified the file. And it will be used for the rest of the Red Snow session. So next you want to click back and just click jailbreak. It's going to patch the kernel and everything, do its thing. Alright, so from here you just want to choose your options, whatever you would like. And I just want to click next. Now it's going to tell you to put your device in DFU mode. Alright, so I'm going to put my device in DFU mode. I'm going to hold the home button right here and the power button together. Now what you want to do is let go of the power button and keep on holding the home button. Now um, make sure your device is connected for sure and you should hear a couple noises and that mm. indicates that your device is in DFU mode. And you should see now that Red Snow is already doing its thing and jailbreaking. So I'll be back when this is done. After your device is jailbroken, you should see this screen telling you that it is a tethered jailbreak as I mentioned before. Alright, so you are not done because I'll just show you quickly. We go. Cydia is white, and if you click it, it will crash. And to fix this, you're going to need to just boot tether. Now what you want to do is go into Red Snow, click back. Alright, so from here, you want to click Select IPSW again. And point it to the 5.0 firmware again. Now, I do this because I usually get errors when I do not do this while uh, just booting tether. So that's the next step, you want to click Just Boot Tether. Click next and follow the steps and you want to put your device in DFU mode. Or if you already know how to put it in DFU mode, you don't have to follow these steps and just do it your own way. Even though it's the same thing. There we go. And you should see this pineapple logo right here. This beautiful pineapple logo. Alright, so it says it's done, so that means you do not need a computer anymore. Alright, so my device is booted back up. Cydia is working. I'm not going to go too much into it. You can just see it's working. And just to show you, I'm on iOS 5.0.1 again. That I'm not lying. General about 
5.0.1. So that's it for this video. Um, if you have any problems, errors, or questions or concerns, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. So for now, peace.